Democratic lawmakers made a push to try and make health insurance more affordable and accessible. Chief political reporter John Crowman joins us now live with more on that proposal. John. Yeah, they're pushing for a public option that would allow people to buy their way into the Minnesota care system. Now that's a state subsidized plan that's been around since 1992. It's basically for the working poor, it's for people who make too much to qualify for Medicaid, but not enough to buy insurance on the private market. No amount of spin will change the basic reality at small businesses like Perennial Cycle at Uptown Minneapolis. Owner Luke Breen simply can't provide affordable health care for his employees. And over the years, he's seen good ones leave as soon as they age out of their parents' health plan. I'm not saying that anybody wanted to leave. Um, there was, you know, it's just too big of a risk to not work out some kind of health coverage. Um, and so if that means going off and getting a job that offers it, that's what they're going to do. Luke was among those who came to the state capitol to show support for a DFL bill that would allow people to buy into the Minnesota care system. The stress of all that was almost too much to bear, especially while sick. Tawana Johnson's husband, Dennis Kelly, died recently of colon cancer, but not before draining the equity in his small business and retirement savings for co-pays, deductibles, and premiums on a high-cost plan. I can remember thinking, how much does a human life cost? And who put the price tag on that? Tawana testified in the House Commerce Committee in support of the bill, while the private insurance industry came out against it. This creates an unfair government-sponsored competitor to our Minnesota-based private sector plans. Currently, the income cutoff for Minnesota Care is 200% of federal poverty level, which is 27,000 for an individual, 55,000 for a family of four. The public option would allow people to make more than that and still buy into the system by paying a higher premium. This bill will lead to reductions in uninsurance, in underinsurance, and in uncompensated care. Now, the Minnesota Hospital Association also testified against this bill today because it would put more people into government plans, and those plans typically don't pay as much reimbursement to hospitals as the private plans do. In fact, Minnesota Care pays about 80 cents on the dollar. So we're going to keep following this one for you. Without Back a doubt, you. John Croman at the Capitol for us. Thank you.